Hey, everybody. Randy Patterson here with Boomerosity. Wow, do I have a fun interview for you guys. It's my third interview with the lovely and talented and just an incredible human being on top of all of that, this amazing Cindy Blackman Santana. It's, again, my third time chatting with her. Each time has always been just a, a, a real treat and a real honor for me. Huge fan of hers. Probably one of the best drummers you'll ever hear of any genre. And wow, this woman, I just can't say enough about her. You guys just need to look up her work if you're not already familiar. And I'm talking about her solo work. Yes, she plays with her husband, Carlos, and that's phenomenal too. But her solo work is just freaking awesome. And you need to check it out. You need to add it to your own personal listening library. Anyway, we took about 25 minutes to chat about, you know, her how the, the last album, which is Give the Drummer Some. Um, it's this album right here. And if you don't already have it, I don't know why you don't, because it's been out a couple of years and it is an amazing album. You should have it in your library. So, but we talked about how that album is done, what the response has been and just what she's working on now, which, yeah, you know, there's another album in the works and the two tours she's doing one with her husband, Carlos. And when they're not touring, she's touring with her own jazz band, hitting great jazz clubs around the country. So if you don't mind, when you're done listening to this interview, please hit like and please hit subscribe on whatever platform you're watching or listening to it on. And then if you would, share it with your friends and ask them to do the same thing. It won't cost any of you anything except little finger action there. So without any further ado, here's my third interview with the amazing Cindy Blackman Santana. Until next time, this is Randy Patterson with Boomerosity. Take care. Hey, it's been a while. I think the last time we talked was when your uh, when when your album came out. And uh, before we get into what you currently have going on, I was wanting to ask you how that album has done for you because I love it. Now everybody I've turned on to it um, have has loved it as well. So I'm just curious what kind of feedback and sales and all that it's done for you. Oh, thank you. It's actually done really well. Um, the feedback has been really good. It's definitely a a, a different record for me. So some people were um, surprised, you know, to see me doing uh, some different things and also singing. Um, but the feedback has been really, really great. So it's 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 very encouraging. Sales have been really good. Um, so all around, it's it's been very successful. Well, cool. <laughs> I, I think I told you this last time. I didn't listen to our last interview, so I. But I do think I said last time we talked that it's. I, I caution people to be very wary of their foot on the gas pedal if they're listening to this while driving because <laughs> I got very close <laughs> to getting the ticket a time or two. So, <laughs> but, uh, but, but it's a fun album. Everybody, I've, like I said, have turned on to it, has loved it. And I'm just curious, are there any stories that you have from fans who has listened to the album, took the album to heart, any kind of feedback, any kind of, personal stories of what the album or a song from the album meant to them? Yeah, you know, I've, I've been getting a lot of um, comments um, on the variations of the styles. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, I, and I, I didn't know how people were going to take that. I was just offering things from my heart. You know, we talked about that. I was offering things that, that I just honestly like. You know, mm -hmm. so it was just kind of a, a collage of things that that, you know, I I enjoy playing and wanted to present. Um, so I've been getting comments on that. And people said that they like the the kind of uh, soup that is created. So they like the differences. And I've been getting comments on a lot of the um, vocal lyrics. Um, people are inspired and some people are touched, you know, by, by, by the lyrics and, and inspired to, to move and dance and have fun. And that's a good thing. Cause you know, you want people to, um, feel what you're doing. You want them to, mm -hmm. to get involved. And, and that was, you know, part of the, the reasoning for doing some of those type of, 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 uh, selections, you know, the, the kind of get up and party you know, make you move ones. Um, and speed. then there was some message, <laughs> some message things on there too. So, you know, the, it, the feedback has been 
as diverse as the songs are on the record, which to me is a good thing. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You know, uh, I didn't write this down, but the thought just occurred to me. You're in a very rarefied group of people, and that is being a, a, a woman who plays drums. I mean, there's been other great ones as well. But uh, has has that presented any particular challenges to you in your career? I mean, you've played you, know, you played for, with your husband, you played with Lenny before, you've done other work with other people. There's been people like Sheila E. and, you know, Karen Carpenter way back when and that type of thing. Did, has What special kind of challenges has that presented for you? Or has it? Has it opened more doors or has it been more challenging? You know, it's funny, you get you get both sides of the fence, you know, because you get some people who don't want to give you a chance or, you know, want to look at you as less than because of gender. Right. And then you get people who want to give you more of a chance. And then you get people who are just into the music and who are just into listening and hearing and vibing and going on, you know, what's presented and the merits of of the work that you put in and what you play. And those are the ones that I gravitate to. Yeah. And fortunately, you know, for my life and because that's the energy that I'm putting out, those are the bulk of the people who I've I've been, you know, associated with and who I've been able to um, create with and come in contact with. So for me, you know, it's um, it's been a lot about that, you know, and, and sure, there are other energies out there, um, but those are the ones that I steer away from. You know, I, I like the, the person who's genuinely into music, you know, and um, it's, it's, it's odd because you can run into many blockages with somebody's preconceived notion of anything in life, you know, mm -hmm. whether it be your gender, whether it be your culture that you're from, whether it be, you know, the, the race that you're from or the spirituality that you choose or the type of food regime that you that you take on, you know, um, uh, how you style your hair, what your weight is, you know, where you live, um, what your political view is or is not. You know, there are so many things that can cause a kind of a rift. And to me, they're all very childish. <laughs> it just really shows that um, humanity as a whole, and I, and I include myself in that, you know, we have so much growing to do um, because these are conversations that in 2024, we shouldn't have to have. I agree. You know, we, we shouldn't have to ask somebody, you know, if they're okay with their neighbor being white or if they're okay with their neighbor being black or, you know, from India or, you know, whatever, you know, we shouldn't have to ask that and yeah. at this stage of the game, but we still do, which means that, you know, we have lots and lots of growing to do. So, you know, I really look forward um, to a time whether I'm on this planet or looking at this planet, but I'm 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 looking forward to a time when those energies are edited out yeah. of our humanity, you know. And I'm happy to be um, one of the uh, beings on this planet who is pushing for that, yeah. you know, um, and who is trying to live a life that exemplifies bringing that energy about because to me that's that's really what's important you know we we are all one and when we come out of whatever source has wrapped us in we're all light beings you know mm -hmm. it's all the same and so mm -hmm. once we really understand that we're not going to be fighting we're not going to have these wars we're not going to have you know territorial battles. We're just, none of this is going to exist. You know, right. we probably won't even have the same monetary system that we have because we're going to understand that the earth is able to provide mm -hmm. for all the beings on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's just that we divide things up in a way that makes things scarce for some and plentiful for others. And, um, you know, at, at a point, we're, I believe that we're going to, I have faith that we're going to even that out. 
<laughs> or well, nature for, will. If we don't, nature will. <laughs> that's right. Well, I know for me personally, and I don't know if you've run into this, but, you know, being in the workplace, in corporate America especially, it dawned on me a few years ago that I could have a friend of a, you know, friends, plural, from various races. And it occurred to me one day that I didn't look at them as, you know, Bob, my black friend, and Jerry, my Hispanic friend, and Wu as my Asian friend. I looked at them as their name and my friend, and race didn't even enter in. And I think that what you're talking about is essentially the same thing as when our hearts, when we have, when we see people through hearts of love and friendship, I think those those filters go away. At least mm -hmm. the, the ones that separate us, and then the only ones remaining are the filters that that bring us together. You know, through just you know, almost like through colorblind lens, and just seeing the hearts of each individual instead of you know what what armband they have on their arm to delineate you know politics or race or whatever. We we see another human being that's our brother and sister, and how can we help? You know, and I think that that's I think music does a lot to bring us to that point. And that's why I appreciate what you and your husband do um, in generating that peacefulness, that 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 bond among everybody. So. It does. Music is it it just transverses and crosses all barriers. It crosses political barriers, language mm -hmm. barriers, cultural barriers, you know, um uh and it's a glue that brings people together in a very harmonious and happy way because music makes you feel so good. You know, it's all about the vibration. It's all mm. about the frequency. It's all about the energy. And mm. so I totally agree with you. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, um, you have the view that you have because we, we need more of that in order for this planet to become the harmonious sanctuary that I think it was really meant to be. Agreed. Agreed. The last time you and I, or since the last time you and I spoke, been a couple of years now, um, you you and your husband been doing a lot of touring. And what I've noticed, and I got to see you in uh, Chattanooga, it's just as the shutdown was beginning to lift, you guys were all beginning to tour again. Musicians started making a living again, thank God. And I caught you guys in Chattanooga, and wow, what a phenomenal show that was. And what I was struck by is just how well, how harmonious you, not only just you and your husband, obviously, but but how you guys are within the band. And I know playing, you know, touring is so hard on musicians, and a lot of people don't get that. But you guys are are seem to have that down so tight seem to have a lot of fun, seem to enjoy it. And what I'm struck by now is that not only are you guys doing that, but you yourself have in between breaks or in breaks between, you know, segments of the tour, you're going out and doing a solo tour and doing. So <laughs> how is that? For, I mean, what are you trying to do? Just keep from being <laughs> bored or what? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of music to be played, and I, and I, and I want to I want to have a part in that. You know, I want to do it. Um, it's what I'm feeling. I have the energy for it. I have the um, you know the desire for it, and and most importantly, I have the love for it. And mm -hmm. so, when you love anything, you know it it becomes, as Carlos calls it, seamless ease. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, then you're able to glide through. Um, because of the energies that you're working off of. And um, yeah, we, you know, we look at, at touring not as work, but as a joy, because it's a joy to play music. It's a joy to create. It's a joy to make people happy. It's a joy to, you know, bring light to people's lives. It's a joy to be a channel for for that light you mm -hmm. know um and that takes a lot of the weight off of um the quote-unquote rigorous um tour you know in the in the way the way that people might look at 
at at touring. Um, and you know, some people they say, "Oh, you're you're up there having fun, and it's you know, it's just a big party." Well, we are having fun, and in a way, it is a party, but it becomes work if you don't take care of yourself, mm-hmm. if you're not doing the things that you need in order to be healthy mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. physically, there's a, a lot of stuff that you you need to take care of. There's a lot of stuff that you don't need to do <laughs> in order <laughs> to stay right. physically healthy. <laughs> That's right. And there's a lot of stuff that you do need to do. You know, you need to rest the body. You need to hydrate the body. You need to feed the body properly. You need to... Um, exercise the body properly. You need to move. Um, mentally, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do. Mm-hmm. Emotionally, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do. So when you when you look at it that way, then longevity uh, becomes longer, you know? Yeah. 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 And um, I think that's the way that, that, that we approach um, touring. That's the way that we approach uh, living and, and and life, and and that makes things just so much more smooth and 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 um, so much easier. Yeah. Um, and we've learned from, especially if you look at the music business and the music industry. Um, I feel that 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 my generation and certainly the generations after me. Uh, the newer generations have no excuse uh, in terms of taking care of the body, have no excuse uh, because we've seen what not taking care of the body can do. You know, we've seen the the genius lives who have been cut short um, because of, you know, making choices that were not healthy choices. Right. So, right. Those are supreme lessons for us. What part of all of that? I mean, because to me, I, I, as a fan, I, you know, obviously, I I go to a lot of concerts, and and sometimes, yeah, I can see my favorite acts up there, and you can tell, you can just feel it that they're just mailing it in. You know, great show, they do, they played very well, but you can just sense it's just like they're almost up here, they're looking at their watch. It's then maybe you're a little <laughs> bored with it, you know, and, and what, you know, but when I, and I'm not saying this to patronize you, I mean, this from the bottom of my heart is that when I was watching you and Carlos play a couple of years ago, there was just this freshness you felt, you know, you guys weren't, you know, you played those songs hundreds, if not thousands of times. And I'm sure there's same lines that can be said, but there is a freshness that, the audience feels, I feel, I, I know I feel it as a fan that's that. And I've, like I said, I can spot the, 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 the act, you know, when it's being said, you can tell certain things are scripted or repetitive. You guys are having fun. You guys were keeping it fresh. What part of what you just said contributes to that? And is there anything else you guys do to keep that freshness in your music and in your performances? Well, thank you for that. And, um, you know, I mean, the main thing that keeps uh, the music fresh, keeps you fresh, um, keeps the energy and the vibration fresh is that one word that I don't want to, you know, sound goofy for saying, um, and and it's not goofy, but (laughs) I don't want to sound that way, is love. You have to love what you're doing. And neither Carlos nor I ever mail it in. You know, we put our entire beings forward. And and for me, I really, um, my my goal is to own every note and space um, and put myself into each one, whether I'm playing a simplified groove or whether it's something more complicated, whatever it is, um, all the energy that I have at that moment, no matter what happened during the day, I'm going to give it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give all my heart. I'm going to give my focus, mm-hmm. you know, um, for the gift that the source gave me, the gift of music, I owe the source, I owe the creator my 
devotional focus at every second as the least I can do to return the favor of giving me the gift of music. That's how much I love music. Mm -hmm. That's how much music is, is a part of my makeup, a part of my DNA, a part of my soul, a part of my physical, my part of my, my mental, my entire consciousness and being, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so I owe it that. And if I'm, if I'm not doing that, then, you know, I'm not fulfilling um, what I believe is the way to not only repay that, but fulfill and, and, and push and share and give that and be that, you know? So mm -hmm. I, I, I have to do that. I, I don't know another way. <laughs> I just don't. And it doesn't matter what music I'm playing. I'm going to give my all, all the time. Mm -hmm. And if it's something that I prefer not to play, then if I don't feel I can give that, then I just won't accept it. You know, I won't do it. Otherwise, I'm going to be given my all at every point, you know, no matter what it is. And well, especially that, for the things that are my favorite things. <laughs> yeah. Well, it shows and it comes across, like I said. Um, I want to deflect from the tour for just a moment. Then I want to come back to it. And I know you've got to run here in a moment. But I I read somewhere you're working on a new solo album. And I want to I want to interview you for that closer to the time it, it, it drops. But can you maybe give a little hint of what fans might can expect you know, when that, when that fun time happens. Oh, absolutely. We've already started recording. Um, and I'm really happy with, with what's come out and, and we're going to do some more recording, uh, in September. So it'll, we will have all the music done in September, actually quite early in September. Um, and then it'll just be a matter of mastering it and putting it out after that. But, um, it's a different record than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, um, we would expect that. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is Always a different a surprise. <laughs> yeah, this is a different record. Um, there's a really incredible uh, trio piece with Carlos uh, and Matt Garrison and myself. Um, mm -hmm. There's a great song um, that John McLaughlin wrote. Um, called Guitar Love, and it features he and Carlos. Mm. Um, so that, those are two really fantastic pieces. And then my band um, is recording some stuff, and 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 um, we're adding strings. So there's going to be some strings on here, which I'm Funny. really really excited about. Uh, can't wait to talk about that when when it comes out. Um, and uh, I've always wanted to do something and involve strings. So this is really opening up a, a beautiful door. Um, and uh, there was a great um, uh, uh, cellist who I worked with on a project that I was producing for this uh, Portuguese singer. Um, his name is uh, Dave Eggers. Mm -hmm. And um, he's amazing because he does all the strings. You know, he plays the whole section. He's a cellist, but he plays all the strings and he layers everything. So, you know, he does it all himself. It's Holy really God. incredible what this man does. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about that coming out. Um, you know, we have some new pieces that, 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 that we've put on some of the music that we play live that I've never recorded um is going to be on the record we've we've done some of those pieces and there'll be a few more of those that we're going to put on and then a, a few more new pieces that we're going to uh record in september and maybe another special guest or two which you know i'll keep that we got to keep some surprises happening. yeah we want those surprises <laughs> too so <laughs> well back to the tour what can what you know you guys are touring you're in the middle of the tour now whether it's your solo tour or with your husband what can fans expect this year with between the two tours? Lots of energy, lots of passion, lots of creativity, and lots and lots of music and tons of fun. Wow. Um, we're, we have another week and a half on this leg. I mean, we're Santana will be touring all summer, mm -hmm. um, and we have another week and a half, and then I go to have a couple of days off and then go to um, a couple of weeks tour with my band um, and then back on the Santana tour. So it's going to be kind of like that, um, juxtaposing for, for the summer. Um, so 
it, it's 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 going to be really really great. It's there's a lot of energy happening. Um, last night we played and um, the energy was just off the chain. <laughs> the band was just on fire. You know, this band sounds really great. Um, and they're a lot of fun, you know, um, and my band's fun too. So, you know, this is a, 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 such a fun summer. I'm really excited about this. Things are, are opening up like, uh, like, like a flower, you know, it's really blossoming in a, in a great way. And so I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, well, good. We are too. When you're happy, it comes across in the music. So Cindy, thanks so much for taking the time on this. I know you guys are busy and you know, rest is always important. And the fact that you took time away from that to be able to chat with Boom Rossi is a, it's an honor and I, it's not lost on me. I'm not taking that for granted. And I look forward to talking to you again when the new album comes out, we'll get to chat about that some more. So um, be safe, be healthy. I hope you and the band, uh, both bands, Stay that way, and uh, we'll be chatting again later on. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure speaking with you, and I look forward to the next one as well. And All thank right. you so much for your time, too. I appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. Take care. <laughs> be safe. Take care. Bye.